There is a municipality called Kotor in a little Balkan nation of Montenegro. This has long been a transit point for drug smuggling into Europe. In the 19th, groups under the so-called Cocaine King of the Balkans, Darko Šarić, had close links to cocaine suppliers in South America and the Italian mafia groups in Europe. After some successful law enforcement operation against the Šarić group, their power began to wane, and in 2014, Darko Šarić handed himself in. The vacuum of power was quickly filled by the Škaljari clan, who swallow up the Šarić drug routes. But fissures in the Škaljari quickly began to materialize, when in 2014, in fighting broke out over a missing 200 kilo cocaine shipment in Valencia. These fissures quickly became a breakaway and the Kavach clan was born. This was the beginning of a bloody feud that continues across the Europe to this day, the Montenegrin drug war. In 2015, Goran Radoman was shot and killed in Serbia. On the same day, Radoman's best friend was killing a car bomb setting off a serious and violent clashes in Montenegro and tit for tat attacks ever since. The reason why these assassinations are taking place is fundamentally economic to control the cocaine shipment routes in Europe, but determining the actual motive behind an assassination is rarely so clear cut. This is why the motive section of the assassinations database is subcategorized into four, political, economic, personal and organized crime. The Montenegrin drug war hits at least three of those categories, economic, organized crime, and it's certainly personal. These two criminal groups are named after two small villages very close to one another. They recruit mostly friends and family. Those assassinated are fathers, sons, brothers, and cousins. The desire for revenge runs deep, as does the concept of vendetta, which is an important part of the criminal culture of Montenegro. 